In this video, we're going to take a look at how to embed items into your Moodle course. Um, embedding items is a really good way to take content from the internet and bring it right into your Moodle course so that students can work from within Moodle um, and, and give your users some advantages. I'm going to show you two ways to do this. One is with uh, label and the other one is with page. Both are resources. Uh, we've actually looked at label before as a way to um, organize your Moodle course. Um, both have has um, advantages and disadvantages. So uh, think of what your users need, what your students need, um, and how you can provide that for them with these two items. Okay, doing this is surprisingly easy. All you need to do is uh, click Turn Editing on. And the first example I'm going to show you is embedding using a label. I'm going to scroll down to Add a Resource, select Label. Uh, and I'm going to click HTML source, uh, source code, embed code, HTML source, it's kind of all the same thing. Once I click on that, it's going to uh, give me um, something called HTML source editor. Now, in order to embed the item that I want, all I need to do is go to that item and copy and paste the embed code right here. In this case, I want to take this uh, link video and embed it right into this course. Now sometimes the embed code can be kind of hard to find. For Moodle, it's always um, with this button called Share. If I click that, it's going to give me a couple different ways to share it. I can share it via Facebook, Twitter, um, uh, or Google. Uh, I can share it um, just by using the web link. Uh, this is not the embed code right here. This is just the web link. The embed code is down here. Okay, It usually looks like something that, that doesn't make any sense. Um, but that's what the embed code is. All I need to do is copy and come up to edit label and paste. Now I can't right click and paste when using Firefox in, in Moodle so I need to control V. Uh, press control V that shortcut key there. Okay, scroll on the bottom, click update and the video will show up right away. Uh, next, I can just click Save and Return to Course. And there's the video sitting right in my course. Kind of kind of convenient, uh, kind of nice, kind of neat way to draw students into your course. It's kind of cool looking. The major drawback of this is once you add one or two or three videos, it really stretches out your Moodle. And if you start to put uh, content between those different videos, it's easy for that to get swallowed up just by the by having the videos there. Um, but again, it may serve your purpose to do this this way. Um, just kind of think of what your users need and what you're trying to accomplish and choose from there. I'm going to show you how to embed one more thing using a label. Uh, because another neat thing is a lot of sites that you use have little games or some kind of small programs or whatnot within it um, that your students might want to use. I'm going to show you one called Study Stack. Some of you may be aware of this. This is a really cool site. It's a free site. You just put question answer sets in and it turns it into these flashcards. Okay. And you can just go through the flashcards. It's kind of a nice thing for AP. A lot, a lot of AP students use it. Um, it also creates these neat little games down here. Okay. So if I want to put this in, again, I'm just going to look for the embed code. In this case, it's right down here. I need to make sure I scroll all the way to the bottom, uh, left click, copy. I'm just going to go right back to my Moodle here, add a resource, label, so, same process. I'm going to select HTML. and paste it. And it looks like it is letting me, Firefox is letting me uh, put uh, right click and paste. So go ahead and try that either way. If it's working, that's great. Uh, if not, that control V will also accomplish the task. Uh, I'll click update and scroll down, save and return to course. There's my cards. Now, here's another problem with embedding things like this is um, I chose the large embed. Uh, if I were to do this again, I probably would have chose a smaller size. 
Um, and if you know how to work with HTML code, you can manipulate the size of, of something. Uh, so feel free to try that. Uh, but again, it, notice it just takes up all the space in this um, in this topic. So uh, again, there may be a reason why you want to do this. Maybe the whole focus of the course is going to be these videos, and that's the only thing you're going to use Moodle for, and therefore it'll be fine. Uh, but just keep that in mind. Another way to do this that might work a little bit better if you have a lot of content in Moodle, and I'm going to go ahead and just delete these resources and start fresh. Oops, I duplicated it. Okay, another way to do this is to do pretty much the exact same thing that you did before with embedding, only you're going to use page right here. If I choose this route, all I'm going to do is go ahead and I would name the page whatever the video is named. So for example, in this case, this Limburg link program video uh, is what I want to put in. So I'm going to put that same text in the name okay all right so there I have a name properly I'm going to scroll down to the content of the page this is what the page is going to actually have. I'm going to do the same thing I did with label because look it's an HTML editor and it, it allows you to do all the same things. So I'm going to click HTML on copy and paste that code right in there. Scroll down click update. Save and return to course. Now here's the advantage of that. I really did this exact same thing I did with label, except for instead of having it take up all the space, it's just got this nice link right here, and I can click on it, and it'll take me, again, I'm still within Moodle, but it's kind of out of the way, and I can play it from right here. Okay. It's similar to, I mean, and of course if you wanted to, uh, to avoid all this, you could just copy and paste the link into the URL resource right here. That is another option. Uh, this is just another way to do this, to organize materials. Again, uh, Moodle provides a lot of options and we want to make sure that you're aware of all of them. Okay. So again, I'm going to go ahead and, and select page and I'll embed that uh, game I had. And I'm just going to call this uh, game. the HTML course, uh, code again. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and turn the editing off so you can see what it looks like. Click game. And it's going to bring uh, bring up a new window. Okay, That's another advantage of using this way of, of doing this as well, is it's um, it's keeping everything proportioned well. I, I don't, it's not getting cut off like it was before. Okay. And this has been how to embed content to the topic outline for Moodle 2.